50 years after the Beatles hit the recording studio, we are finally getting to hear some of their first hit songs. And who better to share some of their great stories and songs with us than George Harrison's sister Louise. It is lovely to have you with us. And so much has been put out musically and in books mm -hmm. about the Beatles. Uh, what is it that we're going to hear in this collection that's new and that's different for, uh, for listeners? Well, the interesting thing about it is that it is 50 years old and yet it's new to most people because uh, they did these recordings back when they were just starting out and they were working in Hamburg and uh, they finally were noticed uh, by a guy by the name of uh, Bert Camford who was a big record producer back in those days and he was going to be putting out some uh, recordings by a fellow called Tony Sheridan mm -hmm. who at that time was you know a relatively big star and he looked around for a backup group and came across the Beatles and wow. had them be the backup group for Tony Sheridan. And of course, you know, they become some of the most recorded and followed and <laughs> so. listened to uh, musicians in history. We think of, I think a lot of us think of George as, as the quiet Beatle, as the one that was <laughs> yeah. maybe less uh, <laughs> less seeking of fame and sort of uh, more introspective. Was that your experience with him as a brother? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> she laughs. Oh, well, no. You know, this whole myth, well, I'm, I'm finally writing a book. People have been asking me now for years, you know, isn't it about time you wrote a book? So. I'm writing a book, it's going to be called It's About Time. A lot of what's in it is stuff that I'm already telling today. But uh, the thing about him being the quiet one only happened because when he came to do the Ed Sullivan show in February of 64, he arrived in from Paris and uh, immediately called the doctor at the hotel because he had a really, really bad strep throat and his temperature was 104 degrees. Wow. And even when they did the show on the Sunday, his temperature had come down to 102. So he was very, very, you know, a really, really sick puppy. And the doctor had said to him, you know, try to rest your voice as much as possible. So although he was hauled back and forward to dozens of press conferences, he didn't say very much. And so that's where he was christened. But the press always have to dub somebody <laughs> something. So, so he's the quiet beetle, but really he's the sick beetle. <laughs> And that's that how he, the beetle was strep throat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, but he had a lot of fun about that because uh, back, you know, as things progressed and they were constantly being interviewed by people and half the time they were being interviewed by people that didn't know what they were talking about and George didn't want to answer the stupid questions anyway. <laughs> so he would just say, well, I'm the quiet one. <laughs> so I don't have to answer <laughs> yeah, it anymore. Yeah. Uh, you're involved with a really great charity, a nonprofit yeah. that, uh -huh. that focuses on keeping music programs in school. Can you tell me a little bit about that? As we all know, the economy is not exactly uh, the best in the world. Right. Well, it's no worse than any of the others in the world, I don't think. No, but it's a difficult it's, time for school budgets, exactly. of course. And so we thought, well, okay, as musicians, we have to make a living ourselves, but why not do, as the Beatle kind of attitude, why not do something where we can be helping somebody else as well? And so we set this up, and we are hoping to be doing more concerts all across the country to as many schools as possible, and then when it's, everything's done, we can give a nice uh, chunk of money to the high school for their budget. For the music program, that's terrific. Yep. Louise, thank you so much okay. for being thank with you. us. Great to have you. Of course, you can get these great first recordings of the Beatles, great CD collection, and uh, check out the charity. It's Keep the Music Alive. Help Keep Music Help Alive. Help Keep Music Alive, Liverpool great charity. Legends, but also they can go to Amazon.com in order to get the uh, Beatles early recordings. That's fantastic, we'll check out all those. Thank you so much, we'll all be right. right back. Thank you. There's still more of Better to Come.